Hello everyone, Super Reaction Bros here again. On today's episode, we're taking a look at something I'm not too fond of, or sorry, happy about, because it's a trailer to a movie that's being rebooted, and the last movie in the series was two years ago. We're talking, of course, about Cabin Fever. Now, for those who don't know, Cabin Fever was these movies done by Eli Roth, the guy who did the Hostel movies, the guy mm -hmm. who was in Inglorious Bastards. Um, you, you, you've seen him around. He recently did that um that cannibal cannibal Holocaust style movie called The Green Inferno. Yeah. So, and apparently it's gonna be a remake or sequel remake or something. No, it's actually what I probably read. It's a full on. They said it's a full on remake remake. Oh well, that's literally. Stupid. So it's not a sequel remake or anything. No, that's it's a full stupid. on remake. Well, and it's not being. It's being produced by Eli, Eli Roth. He's the executive producer. But they have a whole new director and stuff like that with this. I don't, I just don't. First one, you know, let me ref, let me refresh. Those who don't know Cabin Fever, it's basically people drink bad water, they go nuts, mm -hmm. and skin starts peeling off, and then they die. Yeah, pretty much. That was the basis of the first movie. That was the basis of the second movie, which I heard was one of those so bad it's good movies. Yeah. And third one was I heard was just god awful, which was the third one was just a prequel story. I think. Yeah, he, 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 they rock. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a good director. I love some of his ah. movies. I'm not saying no, no. Listen, just listen, just listen. I'm not saying he's just a good director. I'm not saying he's a fantastic director. He's a good, decent director. To me, mm -hmm. there's some stuff that he's done um, that I, I actually I've enjoyed. Um, but like I said, not everything for Eli Roth. He tries, but a lot of times he fails. Um, but he at least he tries though. I mean, I like I said, there's maybe uh, maybe one or two movies that I like from him, but that's about it. And all of his other movies, I just, just do not like. To me, he's a director, a director. <laughs> he's a director who does horror movies. Sometimes people enjoy what horror, he does. Horror, is it horrible horror movies? Uh, well, okay. Now I'm gonna say you're. I'm not going that far. I'm not saying he's a bad. Like I said, I'm not saying he's a bad director. I'm saying he's a good director. I'm saying he's a director. Uh, you know, the, you know, I've seen the guy in interviews and stuff. He looks like he generally enjoys what he does. Mm -hmm. You know, he was good with the little bit of part he got in Glorious Bastards. Uh, some of his earlier work, I wouldn't say is completely god awful, but it's not like spectacular or one of those cult hit movies like yeah. the Hostel movies, the Green, like the recent Green Inferno, uh, his other stuff, things like that. I mean, like I said, he's not amazing. He's not good. He's just a director who knows who who knows how to direct stuff. Well, so let's check this out to see uh, how this remake goes with this new director uh, attached to this, and still being like I said, still with Eli Roth attached to it. So let's see if this one does anything justice from the fir first one. So let's check this out and see what um, what's to come. So here we go with Cabin Fever the remake. Uh, you're gonna love it. It's just peace and relaxation and relentless pounding for like six days. <laughs> Don't forget about the beer. Wow. The place is amazing. Sometimes you've known someone a really close. long time. You just wanna kiss them just to see if they're a good kisser. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Whoa, whoa. Boy, that's how people get themselves shot. It looks like you guys were having some kind of party last night. She's sick. I'm not dying like that. When are we dying? I don't want to infect everyone. No, any one of you could have it. Them kids got disease. If a cattle gets sick, you gotta oh. kill it before it spreads the rest of her. Where are you going? To get help. I don't want to get sick. I don't want any of us to get sick. <laughs> now you're not looking so good. I don't look so good! Get it. We're all gonna get sick. Holy, please! 
<laughs> it feels compared to the for original Kevin Fear, it feels more action packed. That's what it seems like they're adding more. That's what it yeah, seems like I mean, they're adding the more. The first one it was more like a, more like a like they didn't know really what was going on. Like like it was one of those Ah, you don't have that to them, Kevin, now. <laughs> ah, you don't want uh, ah, to be careful out there, now. You know, that's, it was, seems like you know, that's what the first one kind of felt like. This one, it's like, um, what the fuck are you doing up here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, and now, even, even the, the, the sheriff, pretty much lady. The sheriff lady and then the, the people pretty much in the town, even they're like, we are aware of it, but we got to so, kill them. So it's, like, spreads. so it's like cabin fever mixed with some of the characters from Deliverance, <laughs> <laughs> essentially. It's like, damn, damn, wait, damn, damn, we got to take damn. out, we got to take out the HUD. We gotta take, you know, we, well, you know, one guy gets sick. We don't have the rest get sick, so we gotta take out that that the cattle, you know, all that cattle um, now. It does seem like they they up the ante in this one for this remake. A little bit, a little bit. Um, but all, like I said, all it is is they get sick, they start coughing up blood, and their skin starts to peel off. That's what the sickness is. Yeah, exactly. So, um, I think I think I guess it's just minor spoiler around. I don't, I don't think anybody cares, but like. Like one guy survived by the end of it. The guy that played Sean and William E. Twirl. He's the one that somehow <laughs> survived it. That's by, the, it. By, by the end of the movie. So but this one, this one, it could be they may change it up where it's a female who actually survives because you saw that how she's like, I'm gonna go into town and try to get some help or this mm-hmm. or that. She could be the one. They could change it up to where it's a female who survives in this one. So, um, but like I said, um, like they added a little bit more action into this one where they get more people involved trying to. Trying to help them by kill them, going, we just got to kill you guys. That's the only way to stop this infection. If we have to kill you, um, but it does seem interesting um, for me at least. Um, but yeah. it's still something maybe I may not watch in theaters. May just go straight. Probably just watch it maybe later on. Rental, download, something like that. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, I I really don't care. I mean, maybe one day and once in a blue moon I may check it out, but. I'm not. I've never Maybe really TV been TV movie type of thing. Or, I've never. Or, I've never been really interested in any of the Captain Fear movies. Uh, so. no, not either. Not, not so, either. After watching the first one, was like after that, I was like, why make another one? It's going to be almost the same exact thing. There's no purpose to it. It's like you just get another group of people coming in and doing the same exact thing, all getting killed because it's yeah. You so know, there's not really anything. You know, nothing where you bring in the CDC or something like that, something big or anything like that. But. I don't know. Like I said, I, I, that, that's like I said. That's this is like you know, almost maybe a year or two down the road, and I'll see it maybe on TV then. But for now, though, if you're new to the channel, you can like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's see our last video. Hopefully, it's better than than, than hopefully this one. So click right there, check it out. So we've been up to lately. Also, do you like any? Do you have a favorite Eli Roth movie that you en- has their that, that you enjoy? Like a, it's like a guilty pleasure, or you actually just flat out enjoy watching. Just let us know. Yeah, let us know. Leak it. Comment below. Just let us know. It'll be interesting to see hear, yeah. hear people's responses to it. Yeah, but for now, I'm Fox. I'm Bruce, and that's been another episode of Sorry. See ya later.